just said, wow, I, I cannot see myself doing anything else except for teaching music and playing music for people. Even if I don't feel like that's exactly what I want to do every single day, I, I know that that is definitely what I'm called to do and what, and what I really would love doing. I started piano when I was like um, really young, I was about three, and I've just always been super interested in it ever since. And like I did other activities, but it was always like music was my thing. So when I was in middle school, I was very big into sports because it was like that very much like thing that you needed to do in order to fit in. So I was like, yeah, softball, like skiing, all that. Um, but in eighth grade, um, a lot of people know this, I got into a ski accident. I was skiing down a mountain and my ski got caught in a divot in the ice. Like I had more time on my hands, especially in March ish when the softball season would normally start up and I basically found myself and I was like you know I'm done with sports I'm gonna focus all my attention on my music. So we were doing the Hunchback of Notre Dame was the uh, was the musical and I was playing one of the I was playing this thing called the soprano saxophone or a small saxophone and there was this one solo that was just do -do 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 -do. it was just super short and stupid sounding but when I remember when I played it everybody in the cast because we were just practicing it with them thought it was funny that was cool and then that was like in that moment i was like i'm not really studying music anymore i'm a musician now ready and then you have five minutes to like do your songs your monologues and then you get it over with and that would be it and then you just audition for college and that five minutes and you're living because the audition process was different for every school there was a different application i didn't have like the universal standard application that i submitted for every school so it was a lot a lot of paperwork i can say that uh, like when auditions were all in person, you would get to travel to each and every school and like get a sense of the environment, like get to know teachers, get to know like students that you could potentially be like friends with and working with. And there's also even more pressure now because with all these auditions being on Zoom, it opens the door for so many more people and the programs just become that much more competitive than they already were in the first place. Because I would sit in my basement for eight hours at a time and try and get like the perfect recording. You want it to be perfect because there's there's technically no excuse for it to not be perfect even though there obviously is. You're never going to be perfect. So you just, you're sitting there for hours just trying to get the one take. So it was better in some ways and harder definitely in others. I'd say that the top school on my, I had uh, two top schools and that was Penn State and Syracuse and I was blessed to be able to be accepted to both of them. And um, I ended up choosing Penn State because it just checked all the boxes for me wanting to pursue a musical theater a BFA at Penn State University. Then I'm, I'm going to Ithaca. I'm majoring in music education and bassoon performance. I'm double majoring. And uh, the good thing is a lot of the country's really good music education schools are around this area. So my top pick schools were Paris Conservatoire, um, uh, the Royal Conservatoire in uh, London, one in Denmark, and so I was really all over the place. And the school I ended up going with was the one in London, so I'm going to the Royal College of Music in London. I'm really excited about it. I've actually just committed to Ithaca College um, for piano performance, and the reason I chose Ithaca is because I really like the location, and you can see the Finger Lakes from the campus, and I also have a really great connection with the piano teacher. And he seems like a really nice person and also a great teacher. Yeah, so I committed to the University of Delaware um, to pursue a Bachelor of Arts in Viola and a minor in Disability Studies, so I'm really excited about that. That's sort of been my top school for a while, but um, I was also looking into Gettysburg and Syracuse and Ithaca a lot. Like the whole virtual audition things, I think that will last into the future just because having to like miss all that school, pay all that money to fly overseas and stay in all these different countries. Like it's just not very accessible for a lot of people to apply to a lot of different schools. And now that schools have established that it's functional to have um, virtual auditions, I think it will stick around.